Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this video, we're gonna take an extended look at flaps on EFOS. So I made a video about flaps, flapperons, and spoilerons on EFOS quite a way back, and I'll put a link to that up in the top corner. And this video is gonna take that and sort of expand it. I've had a lot of questions asking about adding elevator compensation, that sort of thing. So we're gonna take a look at that, as well as slow up and down, and how they can all work together to get the flaps working properly. Now, I know that there are specific mixes in EFOS for uh, flaps to elevator, stuff like that. But in all honesty, I've not found them to be all that helpful. And I'll show why a bit later on. But let's get to the desk and get our basic model set up. Okay, so if you've seen any of my videos before, you will know all about this setup. So this is my little plywood plane. We have two ailerons, two flaps, elevator and rudder and they're all connected up to this SR10 Pro. All that I have at the other end is, uh, usually I have a switch on here to turn the power on off to make things easier, so I will plug that back on before we get started. But this is just taking the signal from the radio through the receiver and outputting it on here as if it would for your plane. Right, so first off, let's just get the transmitter powered on and I'm gonna create a brand new model from scratch for this. So I'm ignoring any checklists and let's go into the demo folder and let's create a new plane. So I'm gonna create a standard aeroplane with one engine, obviously this doesn't have an engine, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up with two channels for flaps because I'm running two independent channels on here, just to show you how this sets it up. And then we're gonna just set the rest of it up. So this is a traditional T-tail, uh, one elevator channel, one rudder channel, and let's call this flaps. Okay, so that is our basic model, and the only other thing I'm gonna do is just bind up the receiver. So we're using access, that needs to be on 868. Internal 2.4 is on, let's turn the whole thing on. Okay, so first of all, let's just register the receiver. So click the register button, hold down the little button and then give power to the receiver. You can see it's popped up straight away. So we'll okay that. And now let's just go to bind and switch the receiver on. And there we go. We're all bound up. So with the model on screen, let's just make sure our control surfaces are right. So elevator is actually reversed. Ailerons need work, and the rudder's right. So let's just pop into the outputs, and one of the ailerons need reversing, so we're rolling to the right, so the right it needs to come up. Right is on channel one, so let's just click on that and invert it. There we go, ailerons are now correct. Elevator. We invert that, so that's now correct. Now, just as a note, I'm not actually using any of the stabilized stuff on this receiver. It's disabled, so this is acting as if it is a standard 10-channel receiver, not a stabilized receiver. Right, so let's have a look in the mixer and we can see what's been set up. Well, we have flaps here, but we haven't actually got a switch yet. So the things to note are the channels. When it sets up the model, it will do AETR for the first four channels. So aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder. So that's how I've worded it on here. Channel five is the second aileron, and then channels six and seven are the flaps. Of course, if you're using Y leads, it will only pop up with one channel for each or you know, however you've got your setup. So now let's pop into flaps. And all I'm gonna do is what most people will probably do, and that is add a switch. So. Let's set our switch to SB here. So now you can see the flaps. Now, the amount of flaps, obviously we can change with the weights. At the moment, it's only on 30%. So what I'm gonna do is put it up to 100%. Gotta do it on both outputs, don't you? Okay, so there we go. So both now are at 100%. Now, I've actually got this little demo model set up as if it's a glider. So full span ailerons could be demonstrated, that sort of thing. 
if you were using this with a standard sort of aeroplane like a Spitfire or um, a Tundra or any anything like that where in one position the flaps are all the way up so they're level with the wing and then you have two positions where the flaps just drop down this would be absolutely fine but of course if we're on a glider setup like this then this doesn't actually work um, because we've obviously got a three position switch here and we're going from all the way down to all the way up if the reason why on a glider you'd have these going up is so that you can use things like full span ailerons so what we need to do is address that and we can come to, back to that a bit later on but first let's have a look at the elevator compensation so let's add a new mix and we're going to go flaps to elevator and we'll stick that in the last position and again what i'm going to do is increase the weight just so that we can visually see what it's doing so let's do it at 50 percent now see input why is it not actually just choosing your flaps <laughs> so you've set up flaps but there's no flaps in there so what you need to do is set it up on the switch again so if we look at the switch in the middle position the elevator is flat but if we go to the other extreme the elevator is going up and for elevator compensation you don't want it to do that it it you only want it to go one way and you can see here why on the curve preview you're starting at minus 50 here and we're going up to plus 50. this whole curve should be one side of this line so from there up to 50 or whatever whatever you've got the weight at so this is this is where I don't really get what this is doing. Even on a standard aeroplane like this, you would never want the elevator to go up when the flaps are all the way retracted. So um, yeah, that's why I do things a little bit differently. And I don't use the elevator to flaps, I just use a free mix because it's a lot more customizable. So let's come out of here and I'm gonna click it and scroll to delete and we'll get rid of that. I'll leave this flaps as it is because we can actually change that to, to work how we like. What I'm gonna do is add another in, we'll call it a free mix, and we'll put this in the last position. And this one, I'm gonna call flaps to elevator. And I do hate the use of number two for two. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna leave the source blank for a minute but what we're going to do, we'll add a, an offset. Sorry, do your weights first. It's a bit easier because the offset is wrong. So set your weights at 50. This will obviously be reduced a, a hell of a lot. I'm using 50 for the demo. You don't want that much um, compensation. And then bring the offset to the same value. So we're starting at here and we're going up here. That's actually not what we want. We only want 25, don't we? Sorry about this. So let's go 25% offset and 25% weight. There we go. That's doing what I want it to do. Now, at the moment, we don't have a flap switch for this. The, the flaps are still operating on this switch, but we'll sort that out in a second. Right. So next, what we want to do is come back out. And what we're going to do is actually set up a separate switch. And you'll see why in a bit. Um, so let's go into a new mix. Again, this will be a free mix. And I'm going to stick it in the last position. And this one, I'm going to call flap switch. So for the source, I'm actually going to use the switch that we want for the flaps. If you're using a glider and want it on the slider or the throttle, you can set that to whatever you want. But for this demo, I'm going to put it on the switch. But what we need to do is output this switch. So we're going to go right to the bottom to the outputs. And we're just going to choose a channel that's not actually sent over the air. So we're going to use channel 64 and it will say it doesn't have a name. Do you want to share the same name? So let's choose yes for convenience. So now we have a channel, channel 64, which is basically doing the same as this switch. 
So let's go back into our flaps. If you long press enter, it will go straight to edit. And what we're gonna do is change the input from this switch to the channel that we've just set up. So we'll go to channels, we'll come across here and we'll choose channel 64, which is our flap switch. So at this point, it's doing exactly the same as what it did before, but we're using our switch. And the reason we wanna use our switch is so that we can change things and it all syncs up and works properly. So I'm gonna come back out. I'm gonna go into flaps to elevator. Again, long press for edit. And for the source, again, I'm gonna choose the channel and I'm gonna use flap switch. So we need to output this to the same channel as the elevator. So we'll go channel two and it will be an addition. So the function type, we wanna make sure we stay on add. So now if I move this switch, the neutral position is now level and we have two stages where it's actually going down. Now that's the wrong direction. We want it to go up really, but we can sort that out in a sec. Um, where these are going down, that's gonna act as a control surface, tilt the plane that way. So we want the flaps to come up to stop that tilt. And we, let's reverse it now, just to show you how to do it. We're just gonna go here and reverse. So now we have full elevator compensation and at this point we have no elevator compensation. You can see we're at zero here. Our elevator operates normally. Of course with full, we still have a bit of throw. But you've noticed that in this position that we want for flaps off, because this is set up like a glider, uh, it's not actually correct. So we need to ad address that in our flaps. So we'll do that next. Um, if you're using a standard plane and you find the flaps down or flaps retracted is in the wrong wrong position, all you need to do is reverse the channels, which we can't do in here, so you'd have to go into the outputs. That's what I was doing on here. So you find your two flap channels, click on them and invert them, same as we did to get the ailerons working correctly. So I can show you now, if I invert it, it's going up. So if that's, if that, up in that position is where you want flaps retracted, but you find that they're down. Reversing it will get you in the right position. And actually, both of mine are backwards. That's where I want the flaps up or retracted to be. That's where I want full flaps. So I'm going to actually invert both of my flap channels. So now that will be all the way retracted. We have a nice flat elevator, but because this is a, a glider, a full house setup, I need to now change the flaps. If you're using a scale model, you're all done here. So to do that, I'm gonna go back into the mixer. I'm gonna edit the flaps. And because for some specific mixes that isn't everything there, there's no offset. So what we need to do is use a curve instead. So let me just click on the blank curve and add a curve. And this is gonna just be a simple two point curve. And all we need to do is set the down position, which should be that one, to all the way down. And then the up position, we're gonna leave at zero. So that is all the way up, that is all the way down. So you can see now that it's actually working correctly. When our flaps are retracted, we have our nice level flaps and we have no elevator compensation. We apply stage one flaps, we get a bit of compensation and our flaps are down to stage one. If we apply full flaps, we've got more elevator compensation and our flaps are all the way down. Right, so now that we have this, we can obviously fine tune it. At this point, you might think, well, hang on, my half stage flaps aren't in the right place. So what we're gonna do is pop back out of here and now we're gonna see why I've created this flap switch. So if we hold it to edit, what we can do is add a free position curve. So obviously name it something like flap switch or something that's easy to, to remember. Choose a custom curve 
and we just want three points. So the first point, we're going to have minus 100. The end point, we're going to have plus 100. And then you have this center point. So if we put the flaps in the middle position, which will be your stage one flaps, half flaps, whatever you want to call it, you can now edit where they want to be. And that also edits the amount of elevator compensation in a linear fashion. So if you have more flap, you get more compensation. If you have less flap, you have less compensation. That's how you would edit the half flaps. I'm going to put it back to zero just for demo, but obviously it gives you a nice way of tuning that. The other thing that we can do on this is add slow up and slow down. Now, if you were to do these on the separate flaps and elevator compensation uh, mixes, you'll find that they work at different speeds, which isn't what we want. We want it to work so that they both move at the same time and finish at the same time. So what we do is add it on the switch. So let's do a nice second and a half slow up and we'll do a half second in the other direction. So if we move the flaps that way to come down, you can see it's nice and slow. When they're retracting, it's a bit quicker. But you notice that the elevator is actually compensating at exactly the same speed as the flaps and they both finish moving at the same time. And we can see that better in the output screen. So I'll head there in a sec because the final thing that I want to talk about is on the output screen. So let's go to outputs and we, we can see the elevator here and we can see our two flap channels. So if I go all the way, you can see that the bars stop moving at exactly the same time to the exact level that we want. So that's the slow up and down. The last thing that I want to talk about are the limits. This is going to be more on, a, again, a standard aeroplane with flaps up, mid flaps and flaps down, not a full house glider. If you need to adjust the limits so your servos aren't buzzing, you would do that on these flap channels here. So you just come in and adjust the minimum and maximum uh, just so that the, the servos are working pr properly and you get your full range of movement. So you have the minimum, which will be your flaps up position, or sorry, flaps down, I guess, depending on whether it's inverted or not. So you can see now that's moving with the flaps minimum. So, you know, if it was, if the servo was buzzing, you can reduce it uh, just to get them in the right positions. And of course, the maximum is the opposite end of the scale. Of course, it won't work on this because it's set up for full span aileron. So I've got another sort of, uh, half travel of the servo there, but if you're set up as a standard model, this will move the, the top end of that um, that servo. So that's how you adjust your throws of your flap servos. But there we go. We have basically covered everything here now. Now we can have elevator compensation, flaps moving slow and synchronized. And I think that's what most people wanted to know about. I suppose just as a little extra if you did want to set up full span ailerons on a full house glider all you would need to do is go in edit your ailerons and what we're going to do is add another two channels so we have cha four channels so we have our ailerons on channel one and five but we're also going to output on channel six and channel seven And you can see that actually they're reversed. So what we can do, because there's no invert on this mixer, we're just gonna swap channels six and seven. So I'm gonna choose no for that because obviously it will interrupt other things. So there we go. Again, the other disappointing thing with this elevator mix is we don't have weights for, um, each individual output because you ideally want this one to be at two thirds of this one's throw. But 
you could actually set up a free mix to do this as well. So for completeness, let's do that. So we'll go back to two channels. Add another mix. And we're going to put it after ailerons. Why not? So let's call this ailerons full span. Right, for our source, we're going to use our aileron channel. We're going to output to two channels again. And this time we do have a reverse. So we'll stick this on channel six and seven. So flap one and flap two. So flap two, I think needs to be reversed. Nope, flap one. Okay, so now we're moving the same way, but what we can do is reduce the weight up and down to 66%, which is two thirds. Of course, that will depend on how much throw you have on the flaps compared to the ailerons. It's obviously better to measure, but for the demo, you can see that now we have yeah, about the right amount of movement. So we have less movement on the inner. But there you go, there's full span ailerons. And there's your flaps with elevator compensation. And of course the full span ailerons still work. But there we go, a little bit of extra thrown in for you. So there you go guys, I hope this video answers the questions about how to set up elevator compensation with flaps. Also how we can add slow to the flaps. And yeah, a little bit of extra with the full span ailerons for you glider guys out there. I hope you did find this video useful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also the subscribe button and bell icon. If you guys can click those two, that will really help this channel. Also get the video out to more people so they can learn how to do this too. Thank you very much for watching guys. See you on the next one. Fly your models like you stole them.